Chef Dino here and today I want to talk to you about using a few knife skills to do some things and make them a little bit easier for you in your kitchen. Uh, all the time I get asked, you know, what's the best way to dice an onion or what's the best way to learn how to do juliennes of things. So today I'm going to show you how to do a really nice fine dice or a fine brunoise. Technically that's the French term for it, meaning fine dice of a yellow, a yellow onion or you can do it with red onion, whatever, but the technique is the same, even with things like shallots. Also going to show you how to clean a pepper properly and then julienne the pepper or dice the pepper. So there are little tricks to it. Uh, the first thing we have is our, our wonderful peeled Walla Walla onion, sweet onion. We're going to take both ends off of it and we're going to cut it in half. Very simple so far. We're going to peel off the outer layer. We'll set this other one aside and we are going to do vertical cuts and then horizontal cuts. So using one end, just holding it, I'm going through with a knife and making cuts at exactly the same point with the knife. Now, now look what I'm doing with my hand. One of the things people always say is, oh, I always cut myself or my fingers because they're going along like this and they don't have their fingers tucked in. You can't do things like this. You have to have those fingers tucked in and you use your knuckle as a guide with your knife. And that just takes practice, folks. That's just one of those things that'll come to you. So once again, here we go. We're continuing on. So, and I am not going all the way through to the end of the onion. I'm stopping one half inch before the end of the onion. I've made 20 slices on this onion, all going in the same direction, but leaving a half inch intact at the end. Now I'm going to take the knife and go across the onion, making two slices, one on the bottom, and then midway through making another one. Same time, very, very careful with your hand. All right, so the onion is basically still left intact, but I've got 20 slices going one way and then two going across. Then back with the knife, straight down to make your cuts. And you'll see that you have just a wonderful, wonderful dice. Very even, very simple. And then when you get to the end, you can either See, look at that, everything, just perfect dice. But if you learn this technique where you peel the, peel the onion and go down one direction and then come back and go across and dice, it's going to work for you brilliantly every time. It's very, very simple. The next thing I want to talk about is how people julienne things. This could be a tomato, this could be a pepper, could be, but a lot of people have difficulty when it comes to doing uh, juliennes. In my profession, you want to keep things very consistent, so size-wise. So with our pepper, we're taking off both ends of the pepper, and you can save these for stock, you can save them for a little soup, anything you want to do long term. And then the interior of the pepper, we want to go ahead and take out all the seeded parts. So you can do that just by with your hand actually taking it out. And then make one slice down your pepper, turn it on its back, and go through and remove the seed and the rest of the connective matter. So all, I, all I'm left with is just a really nice opened up red pepper and crying from the onions, of course, but uh, the, uh, it's very simple. So we all, once again, they're all the same width. We cut them into sizes, and then I'm going to show you how to do a julienne. So very, very simply, once again, keeping the knife next to your fingers, and then start a rolling cut, just like that. So each piece is going to be exactly the same size and exactly the same thickness. These are the juliennes, so, and I can actually look at you and julienne at the same time because I've had so many years of julienning without taking things, any appendages off. So we have perfect juliennes, just like that, a bunch of them. These are wonderful because you can use them in different garnishes or you can use them in a saute for a dish. Now, if I want to turn around and cut this into a fine dice, which is called a brunoise, all I'm doing is taking my juliennes, lining them back up so they're exactly the same, and then going back and dicing. Very, very, very simple and really gives you a very consistent dice. This is called a fine brunoise. So it's a, it's a very, very nice dice and very easy. So everything looks the same. So we've done an onion and we've done a pepper. It's the same with yellow peppers. It's the same with red onions as well as white. So it's really just that simple.